Hello and welcome back to another Binx's Guide to the Beast Tribes. We are out here in Western La Nucia with the Sahaki. If you're looking to teleport here, Elport is going to be your closest teleportation point. And these guys, these tribe, this whole quest that they throw out are honestly my favorite quests in the entire ARR Beast Tribe series. They are quick, easy, and just honestly a lot of fun to do, and I highly recommend them for job leveling. Casual job leveling, obviously, but job leveling nonetheless. However, I also highly recommend having flying before you attempt anything out over here. For three reasons. One, the coral. Two, the gates. And three, the fates. Depending upon the weather and time of day, the coral can honestly just turn into a blob. It's The color definition is not very great, and it just, it'll just turn into a blob and it makes navigation on foot very, very hard, especially with the glowy bits, especially when you get back in there. And the gates themselves are incredibly deceiving. They will look totally fine on this side, and then you step through, and you've got two, at least, at least two, potentially up to four to five dudes waiting on the other side to mob you. And then the fates. This corner here is the primary questing area. It is the heaviest faded area that I have found to date in the game. It's save your sanity, have the ability to fly over all of this crap that you do not have to deal with. And with that in mind, we are featuring few with a standard procedure. In interest of saving time here a little bit, I am skipping the dialogue. I do however recommend that you personally read the dialogue. And these, where you see these, where I'm finding these, this is where you will find them. They do not move. The other nice thing about flying is you can fly over the top of the coral, which is super handy. If you land on this side, you will be less likely to uh, get attacked by things that you don't necessarily want to be attacked by. But this is what you're looking for. You're gonna come up to it. It's a key item quest. You're just right click to interact. It's gonna bring up your key items. Right click to use the small flint stone. And you're gonna have to stand here a hot second. If you're in doubt as to whether or not this dude here is going to attack you, I'm far enough away he won't attack me at my level, but you may not be, you know, as fortunate, I guess. Just kill him. Just knock him out of the park and be done with it. I'll hop, skip over the next one. This one is in the middle of a fate. I am high enough level I don't have to deal with this fate. Okay, so keep that in mind though, if this fate's up, you will probably have to deal with it if you are low enough level. Back up here, right click to interact, use small flintstone, and you do have to wait until you see that the banner is on fire before you move, even if the casting is done, sometimes there's a little bit of a lag, I don't know why, but there is, and if it lags, it'll just and you move before it catches fire, you'll have to do it again, so. And once you have burned your, both your bears, you're gonna head back to Few. And see, in the clear skies, you know, it's it's actually quite pretty. I love the coral, you know, and stuff, but the coral is just the right colors, you know, it, it, it'll turn into a blob in the right weather. I have gotten so disoriented before. <laughs> it was terrible. <laughs> All right, so this is standard procedure with few. Is, was, all the above.